Hello, um, just got my new, well just noticed logging into my route this morning that there's a uh, a new Super Hub uh, upgrade or whatever, cool, so obviously because I released that cross out request for stuff to beef last month, I checked to see if it was still present and it is, there's no, uh, there's no cross out request for protection in the router, anyway I posted something in the forum to say you guys going to do anything about it and uh, the short answer is that you know people are like well they're not really that asked are the people in the well I, it's not virgin that's saying it it's just some uh, some forum warriors but anyway so i was a bit annoyed by that and i thought that you know if uh, i'll play with the river a little bit more and uh, i've been thinking around with this bit where is it mac 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 filtering. So that's my stuff. Wireless, Evernet, iPad. And then I've added this filter down here uh, for pretend Mac address. Now, when you marry this up with the Crosshair Request Forgery, it, it does get worse. So um, it's uh, start cross site scripting, as you can see. Um, with the device name on mouse over. Uh, execute uh, JavaScript on event, so every time the mouse goes over it, it'll execute JavaScript. So there's, you know, a few ways that I imagine you could introduce the stuff in here. So let's say, for example, in there I've gotten myself a script source and hooked up to Beef, and it was stored. Uh, you know, every time somebody logged into the router, into this page of the router, it would uh, call back to the Beef uh, framework and, and allow the attacker to perform client-side attacks. Um, again, you know, the window is quite small, but it's it's an issue that hasn't been addressed, and now there's another issue. So that's a cross-site request forgery, and now they start cross-site scripting. So, you know, my argument isn't, you know, every every little home user, uh, how often they're logging into their computers and stuff, but my point is that these are vulnerabilities, regardless of, of how... Uh, how you might or might not be able to leverage them. The point is that somebody's not doing their job right. And also, you know, all these people that work in uh, in businesses where the information security is very important, they go home to their internet connection. And if they've got a shitty little router, that's not, you know, that's the, the weakest point in the uh, in the wall. You know, if they're connecting back into their internal network, if there's a persistent attack or a persistent threat against them or people trying to compromise their data, or even just their uh, their network to, to whatever to, to further their their bad guy attacks, and surely you know better security should be in place at home if you're connecting to the workplace too. So there's you know, there's a whole lot of arguments there, but there we go. Enjoy some cross site scripting. I'm going to go and post it on the forum now. Watch them all spit the dummies out. Cool. <laughs>